Watch this clip closely and what you're going to see are 11 and 12 year old players in a real game actually using this skill. If it wasn't practice in free flow situations before the game, it would never happen inside of a game. Simple look at overlapping runs. We got to do this slowly, otherwise no one will understand it. The point to the overlap is, as soon as I get the ball, you're just going to just sneak around me quickly and fade out of the play, and now I'm going to take on him. He's abandoned his, his player. He's abandoned because there's this collide, there's this confusion in here. He's going to come up and play me, boom, now I've got my player. The whole point to an overlap is to confuse. I'm going to take his man, come back real quick, hustle, hustle, hustle. He's going to pass to me, he's going to follow the ball, and all of a sudden he's going to say, oh, I got a chance at the ball. He's going to say, oh, I got a chance. Now I've, now I've lured in two defenders, and I've got an opening down here. Boom, boom. All right, now let's do it again, and go ahead. Very nice, and across, Morgan. Good. Back up. Let's do it one more time. Very good. Now what I really want you guys to focus on is, let's do a little bit of a talk. He doesn't know that you're going to do an overlap run if he's 12 years old. He doesn't know that. So all I want you to do is I want you to say, as you go by him, quickly, I want you to say lap. One of the things that we always have trouble with is working in overlapping runs, especially with kids that are just getting into this and at any level, overlapping and diagonal runs. And a lot of times it's we set it up too big and it's too confusing. We ask them to think about too much. In other words, we have a bunch of lines and different things going on. Really what we just need to do is just simple and fun. So I always like to set it up. I use a pug here. You can use just two cones with balls on them, but the defender, the defender has to understand that you have to make this work. So you have to fail. So your job, defender, is to come in and follow the ball. So you're going to be just ball focused and follow the ball. That's your job, is just to follow the ball. Because that's what the majority of defenders do, especially all the way through till we get up to the competitive levels. So step number one is she's defender will start it and defender will start to close you're going to pass and you'll have an overlapping run and you will bleed in this way i'm the defender so now i'm going after you going after you and you'll give a little pass to her and then you'll finish and then we'll rotate the person that shoots now becomes the defender whoever shoots the ball is now the defender and then we'll rotate so let's go ahead and just try this see how it goes Now we're going to do a change this a little bit and we can change this into any kind of run that we want to do. So this time we're going to do a diagonal run and we're going to do a diagonal run with a little bit of a block on it. So you're going to feed me a ball and you're going to close on it, okay? So once you start to close on me, I'm going to feed the ball to her and you will follow the ball, but guess what I do? I'm blocking. I'm going with it on diagonal run blocking, give you a chance to move. So you move, you're still going to try and get to the ball, I'm blocking, now I can go, and you go chase the ball, and now I've opened up space. Very nice, good.
go ahead and pass the ball. This is typically what we'll see. As we're running down the field, well, actually, defender, you stay out. You pass the ball, now just run with me. And this is what we see in youth soccer all the time. We see this, I've got my buddy and we're both charging down to the net and there's no movement. So you've got one defender that can essentially cover both players. Let's go back and show that again. So he gets a pass and so now all of a sudden we're just sort of both running towards the target. Everyone's, this big mob is running. Here's our objective. A small sided game is if you pass, you can't run with the other player. You have to do something else. You have to either shuffle backwards for support, you have to do an overlapping run, or you have to do a diagonal run. But you can't just run with the ball with the other player. So take that option out and it makes some sort of thing. So let's just open this up a little free play. We're just going to do some diagonal. Take your time. Defender, you play at about 50% because we're at a very, very small little area so we can get this all on shot here. Play the, you always play the ball, but play at 50%. Defender, go ahead. Good. I've learned time and time again that practicing these diagonal and overlapping runs on a large scale with young players simply doesn't work. They can't comprehend it, they can't understand it, and they can't get it as a sense into their core body. Keeping it small, keeping it simple, and keeping it repetitive is the key. Use these as warm-up drills every session, a wonderful way to constantly expose them to the thought process of running diagonally and overlapping.